So welcome to all the media houses present, and, and thank you for honoring the invitation uh, to cover this particular event. You know, this is one of our flagship partnership programs in the city. So, so thank you for coming, and, and welcome to this, to this particular um, session and part of the, of the program. Just to introduce myself, my name is Vincent Campbell. I'm the executive director responsible for community development. And for my sins, I always have to do these things. Um, so, so yeah, um, but that's me. Let me quickly introduce the panel to yourselves. I'm gonna start with this young man to my left, your right. This is Mr. Sianda Mnukwa. Sianda is the director for sport and recreation in the city of Joburg. So Sianda is our direct link to our partners in this instance, uh, Mr. Wayne Price. Mr. Wayne Price, you can just wave to the, to the, to the, to the media. Now, Wayne, for those who don't know Wayne, and I think I'm gonna give away my age now, MMC. There was a program called Gladiators. <laughs> I think some of you were not even born. <laughs> were you born? Oh, you were there, okay, no, that's good. I know Bianca wasn't born and some other people because, uh, but it was Gladiators, a, a very, very famous show, MMC. And Wayne was one of the main Gladiators. I mean, you can see his size. <laughs> so, so, so Wayne is the director and the partner of the Arnold Classic. Um, so Wayne is our, is our partner in this program, MMC. And I think you've seen uh, the fantastic setup here. And, and this is only made, made possible through those partnerships. And then last but not least, I think the most important, no not I think, indeed the most important person here today, who is our MMC, so it's a member of the mayoral committee responsible for community development. Now let me just explain very briefly. Community development includes the following. So it's sport and recreation, right, of which this program is a part of. Then you have arts, culture, and heritage. Now you'll see this is a multifaceted event. It includes sport and recreation. It includes uh, aspects of arts, culture, and heritage, and you'll see as you walk around. And then the last part of the MMC's responsibility is libraries and information services. So. MMC has got a huge department that he runs, and I support him in, in running this particular department. So that's, the, that's the, 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 the sum total of the panel for today. Uh, we are going to move very swiftly into, into the actual program. I'm going to ask that we, we ask uh, Wayne Price just to give us an overview of the Arnold Classic. What it entails, um, where it comes from, talk to the issues of how we empower locals, etc., etc. And once we're done with that, um, I'm going to ask um, MMC, because MMC also fulfills a dual role here today. Is the MMC, but also in the absence of the, of the EM, the executive mayor, is also our executive mayor here today. So EM, welcome <laughs> to the session. Uh, so, so, like I said, he's the number one citizen at this particular point in time, in this venue, in this session. So without wasting any more time, Mr. Price, if you're ready, over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. MC, uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Campbell. We've, uh, we've also been fortunate to be able to travel to other events together. Uh, warm welcome to the media, all our friends and family, uh, to the Arnold uh, Sport Multisport Festival Arts and Culture. Uh, 2023. This has been a, a tremendous year for us. Uh, we, we really uh, are excited about the program this weekend. Um, we were fortunate to be in partnership with the city since 2016, and that partnership has just grown, and uh, we've just seen an incredible um, uh, development of the, of the project. Um, the the event itself originally was at another venue in uh, in the city, but uh, due to COVID um, last year, uh, we were introduced by the city and our partnership to this beautiful uh, venue of Reimsuch, and uh, we are extremely proud to be able to be uh, on this platform and to share this opportunity with um, over 70 activations and making it a, a shared platform where we can showcase 
our love for what we do, and that is in, uh, I always say there's three elements that South Africans are very, uh, very famous for, and that is sport, food, and music. And uh, putting those three together on this platform has absolutely been fantastic. What I really enjoy seeing, uh, especially today with um, our kiddies program, um, to see the event uh, encourages from young to old, uh, all, um, all ability, uh, able and disabilities to be part of this program. So we are extremely excited because this allows a person to come and to the festival and not just be introduced to, in most cases, uh, activations that we are part of. Uh, as family and friends, we support our, uh, our, our loved ones uh, in, in the activation, be it karate, be it team chess, be it powerlifting. And in a lot of times, it's just spending, uh, supporting in that community. But this is a shared platform where we can showcase you come and support your loved one in karate, but you spend three days and you're just uh, introduced to so many more of the activations. And uh, so uh, also our program, our Come and Try program, uh, encourages all our activations to be part of this event. They have to have a Come and Try program, which introduces everyone to the, the sport that they do and love. We coined the phrase uh, in 2016 already, my sport, my passion, for a reason because when we started as organizers, as promoters of the Arnold and partnership, working with the different activations, we realized one thing that if you start talking to the sporting bodies uh, in their space, their excitement, their love, their passion, uh, it just, uh, it just uh, is so evident. And uh, that's why we coined it uh, initially. But the program has also over the years become a great platform for us involving communities, uh, we use the local community at this event uh, in our volunteer programs, uh, in our supporting programs. In the build-up of the event, we use the community. In the breakdown of the event, we use our community. So it's, 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 re it's really a, an event that uh, at the moment addresses so many exciting parts that I believe that, uh, that we in the city want to achieve uh, in the community and the impact that the event has, it just keeps growing and growing. Last year we were a little restricted with COVID, but believe me that this year all breaks is off, all handbrakes is off, and we're running a full program with a lot of exciting things. Today has just been the first day of three, and many, many more uh, exciting things to happen. So to, uh, to uh, the MMC, to uh, Mr. Siander, uh, to Edie, we really, really thank you for the, uh, an incredible partnership with the city, and uh, we look forward to just growing this event, um, and, and with the host uh, partnership with the city, and uh, we thank you all, all the media that's present today, we're really excited, and we always appreciate your wonderful support to this event, and giving us the exposure to be able to fulfill the event and the legacy that we want to leave. In the closing, I'd like to use uh, a phrase that our, um, our international partner Arnold uses, and he calls this his fitness crusade worldwide. And the fitness crusade is to get people off the couch and get them involved with something. So we're really excited about that. And thank you so much for supporting us and making this day such a success. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you for that uh, insightful um, summary of what the event is about. I can just say, just comparing to last year, just looking out here, I mean, I've seen the cars, I've seen these other things, so clearly there's a, there's a progression in terms of, you know, how this thing unfolds. I must just say to you, colleagues, you know, we were so excited last year when we had the first event that we hosted with, with Wayne and the team, that we, we thought, let's tie these guys down. <laughs> so let, let's, let's tie them down for a prolonged period of time. And, and we were given... Um, a directive to go and, before we sign any long-term agreement, to go and benchmark, because remember, this is an elite event. And Wayne will tell you, this event takes place across the world in a few elite countries. So, 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 so MMC, what then happened was we were given a directive to go and benchmark the other events in the so-called first world countries to see, just to compare, and to compare notes and to see what is the level of the relationship that those um, games have with government, etc., etc. And I can tell you, I spent a few weeks with Wayne in Seville last year, 
And, and I, I can tell you by far when, and I shared this with you on a number of occasions, nothing compares to this event. I don't know about the other events, but Seville was held as sort of the, the benchmark. But I can tell you it does not come close to what we have here in this, in this event. In fact, I was quite shocked. Um, because I thought hey, we're going there to go and learn and things. I said to the guys, no, you must come here. Come and see how this thing is done properly. So, so indeed, this is, this is um, one of the best in the world um, under this particular um, uh, sort of franchise that we have worldwide. So, so I think it's important that, that we see MMC, how we, how we now structure sort of a long-term partnership uh, with the team. Uh, and I'm not committing my MMC here in any way, shape, or form. Um, we've done the benchmarking, we've done the, the exercise now. I think it's time for us to now to sit down and see how we take this relationship forward, MMC, in a very meaningful way. So, so, so I think it's important just to mention those few things. Let me then quickly move to our, our MMC, who's also our acting EM, uh, just to say a few words. I, said to, I always say to him, he should have been a DJ. You know, he's got a deep voice. <laughs> and when he speaks, people listen normally. And else, uh, so we can come. So MMC, uh, without wasting any more time, uh, I'll hand over to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, E.D. You know, uh, you, you should have been a charmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure during your, your days your, 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 as a young man, you must have been a very good charmer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. On behalf of uh, the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, the Honorable Councillor Kabelo Kwamanda, it gives me a great pleasure to, to be part of the people that are experiencing this health crusade. Uh, this is an international event because uh, you know about 50 countries do participate in this event. So it, uh, as a city of Johannesburg, we, we saw this as a, a great opportunity to, to, to partner uh, with uh, um, the Arnold's team to ensure that this event is a success. As you, you've heard, uh, this is actually now the sixth year that we are hosting this event. Uh, four years before COVID, uh, we had the event um, at Santin Convention Center, uh, as uh, Wayne has alluded to earlier on. And last year, we had it here. And now this is the second year that we are, we are having it here. So meaning we're now hosting it for the sixth time. The, uh, this event, uh, there's about 80 different sporting codes that uh, are played. You know, there's uh, events like sleeping, uh, you know, <laughs> and I, I said earlier on when I was talking to the team, I said, you know what, I, I really want to see this sleeping uh, sport, sport code because <laughs> it should be really interesting to see how it, it's really played. But, you know, as I was sitting here, I'm not going to say much because already the ED and Wayne have said a lot. Uh, when I saw the excitement from the kids, you know, this really said to me, as a city, we've not made a mistake by partnering uh, with this health crusade. Uh, our communities are benefiting a lot from this. And as a city, we are also benefiting because it addresses issues of social cohesion. Because uh, communities from different walks of life uh, participate in these events. Uh, the colored, white, Indian, blacks, everyone is here. And they are all being given a platform where they share their sport, and the, and the passion of the games that they play. You know, which is also in line with the slogan of the, the Arnold's team who says, my sport, my art, my passion. But as a city, this has got more spin-offs for us. 
economic spin-offs. For an example, the operational expenditure uh, for this event only has been around about 200, 288 million. And that is what the residents are benefiting from because it's hosted in the city of Johannesburg. The expenditure, everything that was spent here goes to the city of Johannesburg. The communities around here, they have benefited. We've got people that have been um, trained uh, with, in terms of events management. They were trained for three days. And it, those courses, it, it's, accredited, it's, it's courses that are actually accredited. And over and above that, if you go around, whether you're looking for the car guards or whoever, it's people around this area that have been hired. So it means the, the community is also benefiting out of this. And if you can also go around, you will see the, the different sporting groups have been allowed to actually erect stalls where they sell uh, the, the, um, the, the different uh, products or merchandise that they have as their sporting courts. So as a city of Johannesburg, we, we are delighted uh, to, to partner with uh, this crusade and uh, we've got different departments from the city that have participated in this. We've got uh, JMPT, we've got Tropic Theatres, we've got EMS, we've got libraries uh, and information services, we've, we've got CRAM, we've got Johannesburg Zoo. All of those departments are participating in this. It's a show that uh, we, we actually support this, and as E.D. was saying, we want this partnership to go into the future. I thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um.